So we haven't had electricity at home for a couple of days. So I haven't uh, been able to charge my cameras. Um, so this one's at 40%, the other one ran out on me now. So, But I'm here at North Pier. And I'm gonna try and catch some of these cob that the guys have been catching every day. I guarantee you now that I've got bait and rods and everything like that, I'm not gonna get a bite this morning. Uh, it's just like it with me. Oh, there we go. I just said I'm not gonna get a bite and there we go. We got a bite. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hold it. That was quite a good bite. There we go. On first cast. What have we got gotcha. you? Get that bit of that bridge over here. Didn't take long at all. A minute. What have we got here? Hey, Cobby. Hey, Cobby. Go. That's what they are. And a small guy. Small guy. And I've still got some bait left. Oh, but I need to get more. Flies out. This is right inside. Still. Hey, I got butter fingers, but these things are slimy, slimy as anything. But check at that, what a beautiful fish! Off he goes. He's a bit disorientated. Long. Still got my same uh, bait on you. Yeah, put it out again. This time I put it out a little bit further out. He's battling to swim down there. I pulled him up too quickly. And it's, it's 18 meters deep here. So his stomach is a bit distended already, but he'll go down. Unless he gets eaten by a shark or something. Now, there he goes. Ah, it's back, on, back off on the drag a bit. Rest your rod on a cloth or something if you're going to fish under bricks. Bring in the slack a bit. And then just wait. Unfortunately, this uh, camera does take a while to, to turn on. It's, oh, oh, oh man, I just. Okay, I was going to turn it off, but I think I've got one on already. Yeah, this one. Yeah, that was a very hard hit that. feeling this guy's on already because he's, he just seems to be swimming in and in and in, in with it. No, it's not. I'm going to put another bait on anyway. Ah. No, it's there. I think I've got somebody's line. No, it's a fish. He's just swimming in with it. 
Here we go, man. That's exactly what we didn't want. Look at that. And I killed my sinker, bit my sinker off. Exactly what I didn't want. Man, man, man. Uh, bait number three is out. Okay, besides those walla wallas, you know, the swan and the slack. And keep it on, I think. There we go, there we go, we're getting bites already. We're getting bites already, come on. There we go, I'm gonna have to lift it up. And it's instant, but I think, I hope it's not Walla Walla, it's fine. And biting. And I just, I think I need to go like a four ounce sinker or something. Or three ounce grapnel maybe. It's drifting quite a bit. The fish are moving the bait. Come on, bait number three, give me another cup on a big one this time. And nothing, no bites. Oh, I hope a Walla Walla isn't bitten the whole thing off. I've got a feeling that's what's happened. Because it was getting bites plenty and then all of a sudden, dead. I've got a feeling a walla walla bit it off. I'm going to change to a grapnel so I can keep it in one place. Oh, there it is. I'm still getting bites. Come on, eat it. So there must be some bites on. Turn the camera off and then I'll get it. Changing my hook because that hook is too small. So I'm going for a conventional sort of shad hook, it's an Aberdeen hook by BKK. Um, beautiful, beautiful hook, that's incredibly strong and incredibly sharp. So it's got a longer shank, and uh, yeah, let me put that on and put a bait on and get out because I lost that last one and I'm, it was a very big fish. It nearly pulled my whole rod in. So let me give it a try now. Alright, I changed to a grapnel, I've got a bigger hook, got a bigger sinker, and I just hope those wally wallies stay away. back on the rock. Current is starting to push out quite heavily now. Nice thing about the grapnel, I can put a bit of tension on it. Let the 
bag off of it. Got a half a sardine on it, half a red eye. And the last bike was very, very big. And just unfortunately, this camera takes forever to turn on. By the time I even it came on, I had already reeled in. I'm gonna take a chance and see. The bite is pretty quick. But the wind is coming up very strong now. A lot of rubbish coming out, and that's the biggest problem now. Is that that rubbish is gonna make a. I didn't throw it as far this time. But I've got to be careful over the grapnel here as it gets hooked on the reef coming over. I haven't had a single bite. Got a big bait on and I've got no bites. Got a big hook on, big bait on, big sinker on. I just hope I don't catch a skate. A lot of bait fish coming out now as well. And maybe this big cob will come out, yeah. Let me turn this off until I get back. Yeah, this is typical. I come fishing, prepared, and the fish are gone. I think I should have been here much earlier this morning. Um, I'm getting bites, but they're such tiny little things. I think the big fish are gone. Probably gone further out. I should have moved down somewhere, but. I've only got one off a bait left there and they won't eat the mackerel, they don't even touch the mackerel not even the small fish eat the mackerel pretty strange there we go, I'll keep you updated I'm on oh and he's gone on the rocks there, come on get out of there what have we got ya? get out of the rocks dude What have we got? What have we got? Probably another cubby. Yeah, a little baby cubby. And a little baby cubby. This one's tiny. Yeah, oh. maybe they're back here. Slime here. Look at those teeth. Very small guy, this guy. Anyway, it is a cub. It is a fish. I came to target them, but I wanted to target the bigger ones. Snapper. Off he goes. Line hasn't even settled, and I'm getting bites on, on this one. But also, when there's a ship coming in, you can feel the drag. The propeller must suck that water up because all of a sudden that current picks up quite heavily. There you go, there's a bite. Come on. On camera this time. Nah, no, not on camera this time. I've only got one piece of bait left, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's hold it up. Hang on a bit. Okay. Nah, I missed it. I missed it. On. Oh, he's gone into the rocks there though. This feels like a heavy fish. Come out. Oh, another cubby, 
another cubby. A baby little cubby. Stunning these little guys. A tiny, 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 tiny. I was hoping for something bigger. Such a big pull for such a little fish. Off you go. And he's gone. That's a precision, a Kuma precision rod, one of the best rods I've ever fished with. Um, this is a 3 to 5 ounce, I don't like fishing for heavy stuff in that, but this rod, it costs, it is so smooth, it's got, um, it's got the backbone, but it's also got that give as well. Um, so it's very comfortable to fish with. This thing is going to equal any of the top rods on the market, um, and it's well priced for what it is. Um, I love it. It's definitely one of the best rods out there. Um, and you can use it for anything, eh? edibles, um, sketching, I'm throwing a plug in that. This is a 14.6. Um, they come in a couple of different sizes in that, from a 12 foot up to a 15 foot 6, or 15 foot. But um, yeah, it is just, it is beautiful. It is absolutely stunning, this rod. Very well made. Fiji. K series guides with the fast light insets. Uh, the current has really picked up here now. And the only problem with the current is it takes the braid into the rocks. And that's why the last one felt so big because it was pulling through the rocks. I hope I can get it out of there. Because you need to cast up. This one I'll keep. Adjusting that to keep it straight and taut so that it doesn't go into the rocks. And I'll school bait fish in front here. And that's where those big kingies were the other day. Yeah, and they're in there. Those big kingies are in there. Let's see if I can get so look there, can you see the, watch the chasing in that inside that thing, I doubt you guys can see that distance. And I haven't got, there's like a black ball, there's some little, what do you call those things that, uh, um, tiny little fish here, these uh, sleepy um, sergeant major things, and just beyond that is a black ball and there are some giant fish in there. I'm going to put my drop shot rod together in case they come back again while I wait for this guy to bite. I hope I haven't been pulled, it feels like I've been pulled into the rocks there already. Not the sinker, just the braid. Oh, something I didn't see coming is a massive west. Just out of nowhere. I knew it was coming, I didn't think it would come this early, but here it is. Yeah. 